Hello, I'm Enzo, and today I'll be playing TerraTech. And in this episode of TerraTech Builds, we're not going to be going over this tech. You may be wondering, what's the point then? Well, let's go to the turret run to start out. I know it sounds like I'm rushing this, but trust me, it's awesome. Haha! <laughs> Okay, if they take forever to reload, I launch all of them. All right, well, maybe you could see the point. Recently, I've been playing with a lot of mods, mostly gun mods, because, you know, that's the... because, you know, they're the most fun. Lemon Kingdom. They promised a nuclear bomb, and man, they delivered. Yeah, it sounds weird, but we have nuclear bombs in TerraTech. This is pretty amazing. I mean... You kind of just have to see the destruction they can cause. Okay, I get it. The turret run targets aren't, you know, the best indication of what's good and what's not. But we one-shot every single thing. How powerful are these nuclear bombs? Well, you'll see in a second. One-shotting the final turret. That's pretty spectacular. These nuclear bombs are something else. Since we're in the neighborhood, I have a feeling I might as well test the bombs out. Well, that was the wrong target, but, you know, point proven. I only have two bombs to make it symmetrical. Trust me, one bomb is more than enough to destroy literally anything in this game. Oh, there is still something left. That's actually new. I didn't expect anything to survive. Yeah, these things are beautiful. <laughs> Just look at all the blocks scatter like that. That is amazing. I feel like Lemon Kingdom actually deserves its own mod review, so I feel that's going to be a completely separate episode, just for the amount of awesome weapons it has. But today, like I said, we'll be focusing on the Kirov Bomb Bays. Now the real question is, what can these destroy? And the better question, can anything survive them? I don't know, that's kind of what we're here to find out. I'll go over more characteristics on these awesome nuclear bombs later, but let's see what these angry eggs can do to a damaged target. Let's just fire two. Huh. Interesting. Only 18,000. That's weird. I thought I'd gotten more before. So it is about 18,020 damage perfectly. Interesting. However, I've noticed something when playtesting these bombs. They aren't what they seem. This is the Yamato Cannon, the most powerful gun I have in TerraTech. Here's what it can do. 25,500. But you may ask, what's the difference between having a single one of these and one nuclear bomb? Well, you might have noticed whenever I use this, it doesn't seem to deal that much damage. Sure, it can leave a crater in pretty much anything, but it won't go one-shotting the Omega Cube. Why is that? Well, I actually have a theory. I have a feeling how these bombs actually work is the, not the damage specifically, but the area of effect. Cause you see, the Yamato cannon has insane damage. It has technically higher damage than the nuclear bomb. However, it has a smaller area of effect or, you know, not a max range area of effect that the nuclear bombs do. One of the big reasons I've been looking for bigger and better bombs, or, you know, aircraft carried weapons, is mostly because of Purifier. This is the base version, and I'll show you guys why in a bit. But for the longest time, Purifier has ranged supreme as my most powerful tech in the game. But I've always wanted an aircraft that could beat Purifier with not much difficulty. And so nuclear bombs are pretty much the only option for that. I am so glad I found this mod, because I've been looking forever. I've even used other mods. The greatest example is NSV Reinforced. This bomb bay is awesome. It drops 12 bombs per, and that's actually originally what was supposed to fit in this tech. 
but their damage isn't that great and they don't act like normal terror tech bombs. They aren't guided. They're unguided, which means you have to shoot them and land them yourself. So yeah, I learned very quickly I'm not great at precision bombing. So there's that. The nuclear bombs, however, are guided. That provides benefits, but also major drawbacks. You guys will see later on. That's also why we're using the old version of Purifier for this test. We've seen these nuclear bombs just one-shot the Omega Cube. Real question is, what is it going to do to Purifier? Well, I pretty much know. <laughs> yeah, it kills my computer. However, it turns Purifier into, well, that. A mess of loose blocks. Instantly. There was no resistance. Even with max shield and repair bubbles, no resistance. Nothing could be done. This is how powerful the nuclear bomb is. And this is why it is my new favorite block. Because, like, you can't do anything against it. I mean, well, technically you can, I'll be going over that in a minute, but still, the most powerful weapon in Terratech is now in my palms. Okay, so if you guys are wondering why I used the old purifier and not the new one, well, there's a good reason for that. Yeah, updated purifier effectively counters nuclear bombs. Apparently, CIWS systems and flares are insanely effective against guided munitions. Who knew? I mean, I did. Oh? Well, hey, there's fresh footage of the first time a bomb hasn't one-shot attack. Wait, that's awesome. That's actually amazing, because that gives us great insight into exactly what happens when a ship is hit by a nuclear bomb. Well, I think we all know what happens, but it was hit at the very tip of the bow. So it got annihilated up to the wings. <laughs> that is incredible. Just how much firepower is in a single one of those to evaporate I mean, literally evaporate, I don't know, a good third of purifier? That is insane. Their question is, can we destroy purifier? I don't know. CIWS systems are pretty powerful. So are flares, but I guess we'll see. Okay, so, I mean, I know this was never an intended mod combination. But from my kind of real life knowledge of nuclear bombs, if a nuke is shot down in real life, I'm pretty sure it would generate like an EMP, which, you know, would destroy most electronics or prevent them from working for a period of time. I think that'd be awesome if somehow these two mods came together to do that. Like if the uh, CIWS shot down a nuclear bomb, it would create an EMP that completely just removes all the tech's power. Alright, actually a little too close. But I'm pretty sure as we know the tale goes, air defenses and guided munitions do not mix. I have a good feeling they aren't going to. Now I'm going to keep trying until I manage a perfect hit like the last one. So here's my last resort. Nah, players are too powerful. Alright, here's our last resort. What? Well, that didn't work. All right, I reloaded tech and we're still out of power. I was hoping I could drop bombs that close, but you never know. Ah, but the second they look like they're gonna hit, the CIWSs react perfectly. I mean, the air defenses are really well made, but come on. I can't even get one to get close. Alright, all or nothing. 
they still get shot down. That's incredible. So yeah, I guess you can see that Purify Retrofit effectively counters nuclear bombs. Oh, not unless you drop them like that. I crippled the entire left section. Wait, I gotta look at that. That's incredible. Just being in that blast radius. This gives me a weird idea. Alright, well I guess for now this will do. This is a uh, working prototype. Oh, never mind. Not so much. Maybe I should have one of those in the front. I'd like it down one more, but eh, it works. Okay. I don't think we're fast enough, but you never know. I turned off the advanced AI mod because it kept crashing my game. With any luck, uh oh, it's not gonna give us a side angle. Don't fly away on me. Ooh, perfect. Okay, it's not working exactly how I expected it to. like that. Oh, there we go. It's kind of like a mine layer, if you think about it. Perfect. I did it. Interesting. 
Okay, so I guess the concept could have been done a little bit better. But anyways, you have the general idea. Actually, I want to try one more thing. Alright, better idea this time. Because it feels like a mine layer. You might as well make it like one. <laughs> okay, you probably have a slightly faster tech than this, but here's the plan. You sneak up close to an enemy tech. And you lay some angry eggs. Actually, you know what? No. I was going to destroy it, but that looks pretty neat. Anyways, you kind of get the idea. Angry eggs. That you can also turn into a smaller tech. I wonder how you could exploit this. I mean, obviously I could go way smaller than this, but this is just a test. Honestly, I feel like this nuclear bomb is more... Gives me the vibes of like torpedo boats. You know, extremely small boats that have devastating effects against larger boats. And that's kind of the point. You have all this power within a single weapon. Okay, but like, can we reload? Oh, we have one more. I mean, we might as well clear the rest of the place out. I don't know why I didn't go for the bomb first. Let's try that again. Well, uh, that's everything in R&D annihilated. I'm still not satisfied, though. There is one tech that is very fun to destroy, however, it's very laggy. This is the Carrier Queen. You know, it's my hovering aircraft carrier that actually became very popular. I love this carrier. However, it's just insanely laggy to keep around. That's why I usually don't destroy it. However, I think it's deserving of a few nuclear bombs. Alright, well, this is horrible positioning. Let me retry that. Alright, we're in position. I'll just launch one to start. That's kind of what I expected, honestly. The game to practically just crash. Oh, but it didn't. Oh! That's interesting. Have I made armor that can stand up to a nuclear bomb? Okay, so the coolest part, the top is annihilated. However, the side... Okay, there's a giant hole in it, but you know, the left side's still up. The elevator was heavily damaged. Might be able to salvage it, though. I mean, for what it is, that wasn't horrible damage. Considering one bomb impacted right here, taking out that big of a crater, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's horrible, but oh, okay. We came here to see a destroyed carrier. I shall deliver. I also don't think it's worth it to power these techs up, because like the bombs deal so much damage. If a tech gets or if a block gets hit, it's dead, guaranteed. So attempt two. All right. Good night. Oh, they spread out this time. You can see one impact there. One impact's probably gonna be in the middle. I assume it's dead, but maybe there's like one cab. That is incredible. Man, I guess it's a testament to just how well I built this thing. Looks like, look, 
Okay, yes, both the flight decks, the most important part of an aircraft carrier, are annihilated, but it's still alive. That's the lesson to take away from this. It's still floating. That's incredible. Okay, there's a lot more destroyed blocks this time around. But, I mean, still, look at that. It's still intact. There's one cab at... <laughs> you can see the cab, that's not a good sign. There's one back there. I, I think. Guess we'll find out. I can't wait to watch this explode. And style. Okay, so one impact there, one impact there. How is this... Actually, that felt less laggy than before. Maybe not. It's still alive. Well... It's still alive. There is one more cab back there. Well, not for long. I don't... Oh. Okay, once it actually dies, it's a bit better. You still get audio lag. That's pretty incredible. Well, I'm pretty sure there's only one other tech that's large enough to be considered worthy of this type of annihilation. The Siren Transport. I guess it has some batteries that were in the Carrier Queen, but I guess we'll see. Anyways, this is one of my, well, this is one of my most protected ships. Most well protected ships. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, maybe. Well, it survived two hits. That can still somehow move around. I want to inspect it, but at the same time, well, I guess one more pass. Yeah, that's not goodbye either. It's actually cool when you get to see the nuclear bombs work without the lag. But anyways, there's a cab in each corner, so... Yeah. I mean, I would go inspect the wreckage, but like, there's nothing to inspect. That's weird. The Siren Transport, one of my most complicated ships with an insane amount of parts, goes down the easiest and less laggy. That's pretty incredible. So what have we learned today? Lemon Kingdom, Kira Bomb Bays are my new favorite weapon in Terratech. Nuclear bombs, I mean, few things make me more happy than weapons of mass destruction. I don't know if that's a joke that I just made or what, but you kind of get the point. Explosion make monkey brain happy. My only other plan for these bombs is this. Oh, it's beautiful. You can just clear out hordes of trees with these. I mean, that's what I was kind of hoping you could do. But this revolutionizes it. I'm tired of those pesky trees growing in your backyard? Try weapons of mass destruction. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider leaving a like, maybe even subscribing, and thank you guys for watching. Anyways, this is going to be Enzo from Look Into Gaming, signing out.